Hey there, and welcome to another Fortnite action figure review. Today, we're going to continue with the 6-inch Legendary series from Jazzwares, and we're taking a look at Beef Boss. As you can see, he's right there. And let's flip this package around. And right here, victory well done. And there he is, giving the thumbs up and the cross sale. But I don't care so much about the package. Let's get this guy out of the box. And we're back, and we have Beef Boss out of his package and all of his accessories laid out here. Let's take a quick peek at what he came with. He came with a slice of cake, a consumable item in the game. Came with a stack of dynamite that's an explosive in the game. He comes with, I guess I said he came with, he comes with. He comes with dual pistols, and he comes with a tactical shotgun. The next pieces he comes with is his Paddy Whacker harvesting tool and his deep fried back bling. That's right, it looks like a thing of fries. It's kind of cool. I don't have this character in the game, by the way. I have chosen to pass him up a few times, although apparently he's rather popular since Jazzwares has now released him in 4 inch, 6 inch, and 12 inch scale. Yet, I still only get my tomato head in 6 and 12 inch. Come on, Jazzers, where's my 4 inch guy? That's all right. We'll continue on with this. It won't be a big rant now. So here he is. He's, you know, he's pretty standard looking for what he looks like. He's got his blue and kind of a brown, deep tan uh, overalls, his outfit. He's got the ketchup and mustard attached to the back of his belt. And he's got this funky burger head. Now, you know what? I don't know, you know, I'm going to sound really ignorant here and that I don't know if this is actually like a guy in a suit or if that's actually his head. I'm not really sure with Fortnite when someone's actually in a, an outfit or a costume and when they're not. Like, Peely, I don't know. So, I tend to believe that this guy actually has a burger for a head, that he's not in a costume. Well, what's his movement like? Well, he's got pretty good, <laughs> he should have pretty good movements with this burger head. It just rotates around like so. He can look down and he can look up because attacks come from above. He can rotate his shoulders all the way around. They both will. And he has pretty good range of motion provided that, there we go, it'll actually move. He can lift his arms all the way up. Put them all the way down. The, my, the right side on mine seems to be doing pretty good. The left one seems to stick quite a bit. Oh, now it's kind of stuck up. He's Oh, it must be that butterfly joint or something. Uh, they've got that little bit of a butterfly motion inside the chest. The biceps rotate, and I almost missed this. He's got a little bandana sticking off his uh, right arm. But they both rotate. He's got the double elbow joints. Put up your dukes. Do, 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 do. His wrists will rotate and they will hinge. They hinge back and forth. They both do. And his fingers have a hinge right there. He's got a pretty good chest wobble. I'll move his arm out of the way. You can see that he can bend a little bit forward like so. can bend back, but he can wobble pretty good. He's supposed to have a waist rotation right there. But you kind of have to grab it for it to rotate. Otherwise, the torso rotates. And if you want him to do the splits, he could actually get up about that far. This is soft rubber. Well, this is medium soft. And his leg will actually get up that far. He could do some stuff like this, except for his uh, condiment pouch gets in the way. So if you try it the other way, you'll probably have a lot better luck. But his legs move really pretty good. He could do some good running. His thighs rotate. And actually, they rotate so well, I can just hold the figure like this and rotate them. He's got the double knee joints right there. And his calves, 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 whatever, rotate right there. The last but not least, he can, or he does, have an ankle hinge. 
that will go back and forth and he can rotate his ankles all the way around along with the calves so we've already seen the calves and his toes go up and they go down like so now one thing of note this tongue is hard plastic it is not soft I mean probably this tip is a little bit but it's it's pretty hard there all right what's he look like when we peg on the back bling there we go he's got french fries on his back there we go cool cool stuff here I'm not a huge oopsie left his thigh rotated around on accident not a real huge fan of this character or this skin in particular oops there we go I killed him by my bad thoughts but I guess he's okay the uh, piece of cake has a slit under here so you could tuck it somehow one way or the other on his fingers if you wanted him to hold it and he can hold the dynamite maybe let's try that can he hold the dynamite I don't see a hole I don't see a slit so I guess you just kind of have to tighten his hand around it that works pretty good actually all right how about the patty whacker tighten his well he didn't fall out when I had that little bit of a hiccup there probably because it's square not round that's probably why it works let's put it this way yeah he holds on to the patty whacker pretty good the six inch figures usually have a difficult time holding on to some of these things and they drive me nuts these these uh, fingers with a joint with a hinge there they just drive me bonkers let's put the tactical shotgun in his left hand and it looks like he can tighten down pretty good look at that he's not let's hold this he's not gonna drop it real easy gonna have to do some serious playing and shaking there of course now I've got problems there we go and we'll try one of these pistols out not both I think you see that little piece I think that is supposed to hook around this finger so he will be able to hold it and I just bent that thing so maybe not maybe I'm wrong I don't know exactly what he's supposed to do with that well, we'll do that because I don't want to break it more maybe we'll put the other one on something like that well however put it however I'm gonna put it on it's not gonna hold Nah, kind of sort of there we go kind of hold in there so cool but that's okay I like this gun much better anyway kind of arrange him here a little bit to where he can uh, hold this in a really cool way this is the gun I picked up from nerf for Halloween it was a lot of fun it was a lot of lot really cool and there we've got the beef boss come on jazz wares you must be you must be holding out on me tomato head in the four inch scale must be next because why not there we go got him to stand so there we've got beef boss and he's a he is pretty neat don't get me wrong he's a neat figure I like him and I'm sure you'll like him too so anyway thank you for stopping by and thank you for watching this uh, six inch jazzwares Fortnite action figure review we'll see you on the next video if you enjoyed the video hit that like button if you want to be notified when more videos come out then hit that subscribe button and the bell notification ding dong anyway have a wonderful day we'll see you in the next video